Hi, I'm Paul Spain and today we're going to have a look at the brand new phones that Samsung announced at Mobile World Congress. The Samsung Galaxy S6 that we've been uh, having a bit of a look at over the last day or so and also the Samsung Galaxy 6 Edge. That's this one. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, so we've got, uh, we've got two models here. Uh, the, the Galaxy S6 which you know, I guess is the direct replacement for the Galaxy S5 and it looks quite similar from the front uh, but it's when you turn around that you see uh, the metal edging to it and the glass back. Uh, so that's really where it jumps out is the, uh, the, the styling and the build. It feels much nicer in the hand, much more solid like a more premium device compared to the, uh, the Galaxy S5. Uh, and then we've got the Galaxy S6 Edge and you can see how that curves off uh, on the edges. It's got that, uh, that curved screen and that's really the, the unique that's going to make this one sell at a premium uh, price point. Uh, what you'll, you, you might not be able to notice it very easily on the video but there's a little uh, notch there uh, in the design and if you, uh, if you swipe in there that leads to um, a potential range of uh, contacts. You can assign uh, favourite contacts a particular uh, colour. I don't have a whole lot of contacts in here just yet um, but uh, you can go in and, uh, and link those through. Uh, so that's, that's really one of the uniques uh, with, with the S6 uh, Edge. Now in terms of uh, other things, of course we've, we've talked about the, uh, the styling, of course it's a little bit different on the Edge because you've got a, a smaller Edge, so that means the, uh, the SIM slot is moved to the top of the phone rather uh, than the side. Um, but overall a lot of similarities between the, uh, the two in, in their uh, design. Now, one of the things that uh, we were hoping would come with this release is a uh, improved fingerprint uh, reading sensor. Now, with the S5, you had to swipe your thumb across the sensor, uh, whereas with Apple's iPhone uh, and Touch ID, you simply put your finger on the sensor. Exactly the same thing happens now uh, with the Galaxy S6 and uh, S6 Edge. Uh, another capability, fast charging, so they've moved back from the, uh, the, the larger uh, USB 3 connection to USB 2, uh, but Samsung is saying this will, uh, this will charge at one and a half times the speed of the uh, previous model, uh, and they're saying uh, quicker charge than the iPhone. Uh, now, interestingly, um, they also have wireless charging in here, uh, so if I put this on top of my wireless charger, um, it won't charge as fast as being plugged into power, um, but it has got that capability uh, built in as standard, which is, is great for a slim phone like this to include it, because uh, often it, it tends to add quite a bit of bulk to a, um, a handset. Um, other things worth mentioning, because of this new metal design, there isn't uh, the room to have uh, memory expandability, and so you pay for upfront either 32, 64 or 128 gigs worth of uh, storage. Um, the version of Android that, um, that these devices are shipping with is 5.02. So uh, if we jump in, in here, uh, you'll see 5.02. Now this isn't the final, uh, exact final hardware. Um, and the software may well change as well because we're, we're still six weeks out from launch. So there may be some variation in the final products that, uh, that reach the market. Um, also worth mentioning, we've still got uh, the TouchWiz uh, built in. Uh, so this is very much uh, skinned in, a, in quite a similar fashion to uh, the previous uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy phones. Um, Dropbox has been replaced on, uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, compared to previous phones, we now have OneDrive uh, that comes with it and depending on which market you're in, uh, in New Zealand we're expecting that to uh, deliver uh, 50 gigs worth of free storage in addition to the 15 gigs that Microsoft gives you. Uh, we're hearing in some countries that will be a, a 100 gigs of uh, free storage uh, that you get for two years. Um, in addition, the, uh, the glass covering the, um, the S6 and the S6 Edge is Gorilla Glass 4, so that should be um, just a, a step up from, uh, from previous uh, handsets. Um, the improved uh, processor inside these units 
uh, means that it's a, a slightly slicker experience. And the big standout for me uh, really on these is the camera. A um, couple of things worth noting, a quick double tap on the home button will take you straight into the, uh, into the camera application uh, and from there you can, uh, you can start shooting very, very quick. Um, but the, the, the big standout really is around shooting in the dark uh, and I'll have some photos online uh, shortly that compares just how well uh, the Galaxy S6 shoots in low light conditions and it really is a step up above uh, just about every other phone in the market, a, a noticeable difference uh, compared to the S5 and the iPhone uh, 6 and 6 Plus, uh, so quite a standout there. And of course noting uh, with no removable back you can't remove the battery so that uh, wireless charging is going to come in handy and uh, also lacking the uh, water resistance that was in the, uh, the Galaxy S5 uh, but I'd be pretty confident we will, we will see uh, a variation on this that will, uh, will be available in a, in a waterproof uh, format uh, sometime following the launch of the Galaxy S6. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that.